Hi everyone. In this video, we'll talk about operations on real numbers. Now, real numbers are nothing but a combination set of rational numbers and irrational numbers. I'm pretty sure that everyone is pr pretty much confident about rational numbers and operations on rational numbers. Even our irrational numbers behave pretty much the same. The addition and the multiplication operations on rational numbers always followed the commutative, associative and the distributive properties. That meant that A plus B was always equal to B plus A. The associative property said that A plus B in brackets plus C was equal to A plus B plus C in brackets. And the distributive law said that the multiplication operation is always distributed over addition operation. That means A multiplied by B plus C gave A B plus B C. Now all these properties also hold true for irrational numbers. To give you an example of the commutative property for irrational numbers under root 3 plus under root 5 is equal to under root 5 plus under root 3. The associative property under root 2 plus under root 3 plus root 5 is same as root 2 plus root 3 plus root 5 and the distributive property root 2 into root 3 plus root 5 is equal to root 2 root 3 plus root 2 root 5. The commutative and the associative properties also hold for multiplication operations. That is root 3 into root 5 would be same as root 5 into root 3. Now moving on, we know that rational numbers are a closed set. That means that any operation on any two rational numbers always gives you a rational number. For example, 2 multiplied by 4 by 71 would belong to a rational number, would also be a rational number. Now this necessarily does not hold true for irrational numbers. When any operation is done on any two irrational numbers, say i1 and i2, it might not lead to an irrational number. For example, under root 3 plus negative of under root 3 gives you 0, which is a rational number. Similarly, 4 under root 3 multiplied by under root 3, these are two irrational numbers. When they are multiplied, you will get 12, which is essentially a rational number. Hence, it is not always true that you will get an irrational number if you perform any operation upon two irrational numbers. Let me take you through a few facts about operations on irrational numbers. The sum or difference of a rational number and an irrational number is always irrational. That means that if I have a rational number R1 and an irrational number I1 
and I perform addition or subtraction I will get an irrational number I2 this number would always be irrational for example say 4 plus under root 3 would give me 4 plus under root 3 which is an irrational number similar case for the negative or subtraction operation the second fact is the product or quotient of a non-zero rational number and an irrational number is always an irrational number that means if I have a rational number R2 and I multiply or divide it by any irrational number I2 provided R2 is not equal to 0 I, was, I will always get an irrational number now I will give you an example for this say minus 3 multiplied by root 5 or divided by root 5 would give me minus 3 under root 5 or minus 3 upon root 5 both these numbers are irrational I hope now you have a clear understanding about operations on rational as well as irrational numbers